Hello and thank you for joining me, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. I'm actually not doing a real stamping thing today. This is my quick tricks and tips. So what I wanted to show you today is if you go to page 140, and I get asked a lot about, you know, things that I use and tips that I have. So I decided when I think of them, I'm just going to hop on and do one. So on page 40, we have the embossing heat and paste, which is on 126. You go to 126, there's your Versamark and there's your heating tool. And here are your wow embossing powders and they come in basic or metallic, uh, three colors in each. I actually just got these because I was using all the old embossing powders. And let me tell you, they are wow. <laughs> I love them. So the first thing I would do is I would take my, you can see mine is well used, my Versamark. And I'm just going to use this cauldron here. Okay. So my tip or trick, I can sit that aside for a minute, is the embossing powders come in these little containers. What I did was I bought these um, cases on Amazon and labeled them all. There's six of them. I, I bought 12. I think they come in a pack of 12. Perfect size. Perfect size. And I'm going to use the bright white. Just so, nah, I'm going to use the silver because I'll be, use, be able to use it for my fun fold on Friday. And then I'm going to bring in my tray. So these I got on Amazon, and the link where I got them is below. And let me just show you what I used to use. I used to use these little uh, spoons. And again, you can get these on Amazon. Very small. So what I decided to do is I got these little scoopers. They're wooden, also on Amazon. And it just holds a lot more embossing powder. So again, this is just a tr tip or a trick I use. And then, of course, I just put it in like that. Or if you have a large um, area, of course, you want to use your tray and tap it off. I don't put that in there because I can reuse it for any color I want. I'm just going to tap that off real quick and use my brush because I have a little bit there. I know I didn't use the embossing buddy. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, I just unscrew this, bringing in that case again. And just tap it back in there. And then, of course, since i am already got it done, I might as well emboss it for you, right? Get rid of that extra. And then I'm just going to emboss this. This is for the, from the Potion and Spells bundle. I'll be using this Friday on my Facebook and YouTube live one fold Friday. My tweezers are over here somewhere. Like I said, I've been playing with it, so I'm not sure where my tweezers went. And you can see the silver popping out. And it is, wow, it's not a dull color. It's a very silver, silvery, if that's a word, embossing powder. So I really, I really do like the new ones. And there I can, and then I can cut it out. So my tip or trick today, it's not really a trick, is to take a look at little cases like this and put your embossing powder in there. It's a lot easier to use. You get these little wooden shovels, and if they break or you lose it, you get a whole pack of them. So that is my tip and trick for today. And I hope to have another one for you next week. Until then, take care and keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.